Have you seen these photos? The internet used AI yesterday after the footage of Kate was put out by TMZ to unblur the pictures. And this is what AI came up with, which is clearly not Kate Middleton. This video is an excerpt from a full-length video available to truelove.com members. I have made some changes to the website and membership levels, so rates are increasing as of March 31st. Anyone becoming a member before this date will remain at the current rate. If you are considering becoming a member, now is the time to do so. Unless there's a special circumstance, all videos released on YouTube from now on will be excerpts only. I will be making this particular video available to site members for free, so if you would like to watch the full video, go to truelove.com to become a member or a site member, and you will find the video in the free member videos page. This will give you an opportunity to try out truelove.com for free with limited access. All videos in the True Love community are made possible by the generous support of truelove.com members. I could not do this without you, so thank you for your continued support. Please see the website for more information. Links are below. Enjoy the video. There's been a lot of things happening on the world stage that are worthy of attention, worthy of discussing. One of the main discussion points is Kate Middleton and what's going on with her. I think it's worth discussing because of the amount of attention that's being given her way. Now, I haven't taken the time to decode it because, first of all, there's way too much information, way too much nonsense. Most of it is just talk and made up. So I don't even know what the actual story is at this point, but I am keeping an eye on it. So there, there's nothing to decode because there isn't a solid story. When we actually know what happened and what's really going on, which at this point I kind of suspect nothing is going on, they're playing with us, but, but it's hard to tell. And I don't want to draw any conclusions, whereas some people have drawn some wild conclusions without any evidence. And it astounds me how easily people buy into their theory of what happened without any evidence. So some of the theories are so dark. I mean, all of this is quite dark. But what is happening now with how people are talking about her, how people are running away with like, these wild theories. I mean, it's entertaining. It's very entertaining. But my goodness. Now, I can understand where the imagination takes off, but like to say it as if it is conclusive fact is absurd. There's some people who are who are putting out false information. There's the latest piece of information has been the royal family is about to announce something major. And this is not true. It was released in several unreputable publications online. And yet people are just taking it and running with it. There's This goes hand in hand with a lot of the other false rumors and false statements about the royal family about William about Kate about like all of them people are just making things up and repeating them as if they are true Kate put out a doctored photo and the way in which these people are twisting the narrative to support their argument to defend Megan is bizarre to me and it's this kind of thing that fascinates me. The, the psychology behind all of this. It's kind of similar as well to what happened with Tiffany Gomez. Because when she was last seen, then she vanished for a time. And then when she resurfaced, everybody said, that's not her. And that's what's happened with Kate. People are saying, that's not her. They're pointing to her picture and they're identifying all the differences they're saying it's ai 
Same with Tiffany Gomez. People were saying, that's not her, it's AI. So with this overall <laughs> mass growing concern from the public of, well, where's Kate? Is she okay? Please just something to prove that she's okay. It's surging in the media and it's grown to the point that the mass media is also asking this question to the masses to draw attention to those people who saw it as frivolous, who saw it as pointless, to, who saw it as you guys are just being unreasonable. You know, usually mainstream media would say, come on, this is ridiculous. You conspiracy theorists, why are you drawing up all of this stuff? They told us what was going on. They told us she was in hospital. They told us she was going to come out after Easter. What is with you people? But no, this time they're on the side of the conspiracy theorists, which is weird. It's weird. Going back to Kate, there is all this controversy that rose up, like, which is valid. They are acting suspiciously. The royal family, William and Kate, they're acting suspiciously. But why? Why are they doing this? We get a picture of her leaving Windsor with her mother in a car, a foggy photo, pixelated from a distance. And then when you zoom in, you can tell it's not her, but it's so bad. It's such a bad photo that it's questionable. They follow this up with this Mother's Day photo that was clearly edited. Now, since publishing the full-length version of this video, two more controversial events have happened. Footage from Kate's alleged appearance at the farmer's market has surfaced in all its foggy glory, and a report has come out about a leak at the hospital where Kate had her surgery. I imagine the media is reporting on this because they heard it from the police, but why does the public need to know this information? The only reason I can think of is that this is part of the story. And at the outset of this entire saga, as this young woman, Ali Nastin, reports, there was a Spanish reporter who said she had a source claiming that Kate was put into a coma. We have a pretty major update in the Where is Kate Middleton conspiracy theory because now reports are alleging that the hospital where she was taken to have her abdominal surgery is under an active investigation because they believe somebody breached her private medical files. The Mirror has this exclusive story, and this is a big deal because if you've been paying attention since the beginning of the Where is Kate Middleton conspiracy, you will remember that there were reports from Spanish journalist Concha Caleja stating that she had an inside source that she never named that claimed that Kate Middleton had been induced into a coma following complications from her abdominal surgery. And you'll probably remember that Kensington Palace officials came forth and denied these claims vehemently. They called it total nonsense. And then Kaleha doubled down and said, no, I trust my source explicitly. And you know what? Now that these headlines are coming out, saying that they're investigating internally in the hospital that somebody accessed her records that wasn't supposed to, I'm thinking it's a really good chance it was her source. And just a day earlier, Kate and William were allegedly spotted shopping at a Windsor market. But it's certainly not Kate, and some say it's not William either. This is the fourth fake image in a couple of weeks. It's getting ridiculous. Have you seen these photos? The internet used AI yesterday after the footage of Kate was put out by TMZ to unblur the pictures. And this is what AI came up with, which is clearly not Kate Middleton. People are also bringing up the height difference. Does TMZ not have good enough cameras or whoever took this? This is video footage from a most recent Rihanna concert and you can see the people in the very, very back were able to get this clear footage of Rihanna and yet in the farmer's market parking lot, we got this quality. Hmm. Again, we're dealing with this division because the people on the surface are not going to look at it that closely, not going to care. And they're going to say, well, what's the, what's the hullabaloo? What's the big deal? She put out a picture. What more do you want? And then the people who are examining it and they're looking at it more closely, they know that something is wrong, right? So here we have more division. With every piece of information that gets released, 
the division is increased, the controversies are increased, the questions, the mystery, the conspiracy theories, like all of it gets boosted. And the talk. So the talk has reached new heights. TMZ and The Sun were two of the main media outlets that posted the video of Kate and William at the Windsor Market. Both first adamantly stated that it was her. Now TMZ is questioning it. Then The Sun held an interview with the man who allegedly gave them the video and he told an elaborate tale of how he saw them, then filmed them at the market. In a um, casual Saturday um going out and about basically um and i decided to go to the farm shop as i do uh saturday sundays whatever day is more convenient he changed his story from the original in the paper days before initially he said he was there killing time while waiting for a facebook marketplace seller now he says he usually goes there and was just shopping i noticed this young couple um by the bread uh, aisle uh, and I kind of recognized her face, but I wasn't sure why. Uh, and as I was still looking at her, William just turned back and then I recognized William and I thought, okay, uh, I've just seen William and Kate kind of thing. I wanted to keep their privacy. Maybe I'm just going to try to record the video of them uh, from my car and I can share with my family. Uh. He said he wanted to protect their privacy, then immediately runs to his car to capture a video of them and, on second thought, sells it to TMZ in the sun. Now, influencers are saying that this man never shot the video, that someone gave it to him to send to the media and they just used his name. He has now come out via his LinkedIn to claim that he was not the person who took this video, that they used his name and that it was not him. So this only gets even more weirder. But even that doesn't seem to be true, as this is not the same Nelson Silva who was interviewed by The Sun. <sighs> is this misinfo, disinfo campaign ever going to end? The only way this is going to end is when Kate finally comes to light. There's also the case of people claiming that the Kate in the video was a double named Heidi Agen, who went on the news to state that it was not her in the video. And she emphasized that she thinks the couple are legitimate. Theories suggesting that's not really Kate are absurd. Still, those wacky stories won't go away, leading to this professional Kate lookalike to go on morning TV in Britain. Were you there? I was not. No, it definitely wasn't me. And I do think it was 100% Kate and William. Now people are showing a second double named Gabriella Munro Douglas, who indeed looks more like the woman in the video than either of them. Of course, this creates confusion to have the media interview one double and not the other. They put the focus on Heidi, debunk that, without even looking into the possibility that it could be someone else. I also want to include an excerpt from a news report in Toronto as they discuss the veracity of this video, because this is a prime example of the mind games, the gaslighting, and the confusion that these media people are causing. I didn't have a photo or a video, and it was kind of weird considering she is the most sought after person in pop culture right now, that no one would take a photo or video. He points out the oddities for the viewer. She was initially spotted at the market, but no photos or video until now. A photo of her is the most valuable photo on earth, and here she makes a public appearance. And this is the only photo of them? Well, we got an eight second video yesterday from not only the Sun tabloid in the UK, but TMZ. A video from TMZ and the Sun tabloid. The fact that the video was sent to these two outlets shows that the videographer sold it to them or he works for them because he's not a reporter. So it didn't go through the appropriate channels. Here's the video. This apparently, according to the Sun and TMZ, is Prince William and Princess Kate over the weekend shopping. Now, this technically would be the first time we have seen Kate in public since Christmas of last year. She had abdominal surgery January the 17th. To, to try and explain how, how much doubt there was online that this is actually Kate Middleton, I, can't, I, I don't have the hours in the deck. He says there was a lot of doubt online that it was Kate. 
but it's not doubt. It's about 90% of the commenters saying that that's not her. That's certainty. So the closer you get... That looks like Kate to me. Yeah, that looks like Kate. That the looks like Kate does. to me. Yeah. Before he can even add to what he was saying, the two women interject saying it definitely looks like Kate. Devo Brown. Does that look like Kate Middleton to you? <sighs> it's, keep in mind, it's an eight second video that ends when they turn closer to the camera. Another four seconds would have been helpful. He bypasses the women to go to the man for confirmation on whether or not this looks like Kate. His tone and the way in which he expresses himself suggests that it's not Kate, yet all he says is, keep in mind, this is an eight second video that ends when they turn closer to the camera. What does that have to do with anything? It's a foggy photo that doesn't make it clear who it is. He deliberately focuses on something irrelevant rather than point out the obvious. It's 2024 and it was shot on an iPhone 12. So why is this image so foggy? Another four seconds would have really put everything to doubt. Another four seconds would not have made a difference unless they walked into focus and we suddenly had higher resolution. But the better question would be, why is he asking for their opinion? They're journalists. They ought to have a credible source to verify the veracity of the image before they publish it. Devo Brown does it look like Kate Middleton to you? Uh, kinda. It kinda does. Kinda. So he's demonstrating that if he's on the fence, then it's understandable that the viewer would be too. However, two women just said that it was definitely her, and the first guy is suggesting that it's not, or at least highly questionable. So this just adds to the confusion. I think that's why the guy who took this video has, has spoken out a little bit to TMZ and was like, yeah, you know, I saw them, and then I went back and I got my phone, and I saw him again. Apparently he has an iPhone 3. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> It's a little blurry. So the second guy knows the story, but as journalists, they're going by secondhand sources via TMZ, and he jokes that the videographer had an iPhone 3 when it was a 12. So in the telling of this joke, he's also pointing out that it's blurry and not up to par with an iPhone 12. But by joking about it, it throws shade on those who don't think that it's her. I'm laughing about how bad it is, but I still kind of say that it looks like her because the guy who took it says it was. Um, I'll also accept Blackberry Bold. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also accept that. I just, it's, it's, there's no security. More jokes. Joking about these sorts of controversies and conspiracies make the average person think that it's not serious. But this is a serious matter. There have now been four images of Kate that are not legitimate, and they're implying we're supposed to just laugh it off. There's nobody kind of whisking them through. They're, they look like when I go to the St. Lawrence Market on a Saturday morning. So now this guy addresses that there is no security, which is a valid point, and it adds to the fact that it's not her. You're just cruising through with no worries in the world. It kind of goes to what you were saying. You're the most sought after person. Why is there not other angles? Why isn't the two, the couple that they pass is just no business, not paying attention. I don't know. It's just, it just seems really, really weird to me. The security thing is the first thing that I thought of. This guy first said that it kind of looks like Kate. Then he said the security not being present is odd and no one is looking their way and there's no other camera angles, all of which are valid points. And yet he still seems to err on the side of it being her. Why is there not others surrounding them? Where are they walking to? That's not how they normally shop. I guess this is kind of a valid point on how this is not how they normally shop, but how do they normally shop? Maybe. Don't, they, think? don't they shop in the cottage the, in the country? Like the I don't know. It's a farm. It looks like they went Isn't to the dollar store. Do? Like, it looked like a normal trip. Like, that, you are, how many paparazzi right now mm -hmm. are trying to find them? Are looking for Kate Middleton. This is an ultra valid point. She so much as leaves her house, the paparazzi would know about it and yet they're not here at the market where she's walking around in public. And you're telling me they go shopping after, a, after watching their kids play sporting activities, sporting activities over the weekend, yes. the way it was described. You're telling me that eight second piece of video oh. is the only video- From a random. From a random yeah. that was captured of the elusive cape. Okay, so now the first guy's getting heated, but he's still saying this with a sly smile on his face. It's absurd that we're expected to accept this story as true, but what's more absurd is that it's coming from him. It's his job as a member of the media to report the truth. 
Now, granted, he's just a mouthpiece for a breakfast television show, but as a representative for the show, the story ought to be truthful. Barack Obama went to 10 Downing Street yesterday. <laughs> okay, don't put those two things together. <laughs> and he wanted Sid. answers, okay? Sid. That's no, 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 too much conspiracy. And all the conspiracies are I'm just telling you. He immediately starts making light of it and they laugh jumping into conspiracy talk, joking that Barack Obama was at 10 Downing to investigate the story. They're totally not taking this seriously. This media mess is serious business, and they're here laughing at superficial junk. They're not even pointing out the seriousness of the issue or the serious relevant points that what the media and the royal family are doing is serious in the sense that they are playing with us messing with our minds. And this is what's worthy of discussion. That's circulated oh. everywhere as well. Yes. That happened. Oh, I just timing. find it amazing how no one else is taking a video of Kate Middleton considering how yeah, white like hot this story is. All, Look at all, all the people. Okay, now the women are starting to question it because all the people are just sitting there not paying attention to the hottest story in town, which is right in front of them. So because the women who initially said that it looks like Kate are now turning, this is leading the audience to turn also. Sitting down yeah. around that them. Bit, yeah. it's, it's like I, a Hallmark movie, it, and they're the stars, and you're told not to look as exactly, the extras. Exactly. That's what that looks like to Exactly. Me. Hang on a minute. What did he say? It looks like a Hallmark movie? A movie. He literally said that it looks like a movie. And what does the woman say? Exactly. So now she has turned to agree that it looks staged fake because that is what it is. Nothing more than a movie. Just like TMZ put out that video claiming that it was legitimate and then they start questioning it after people comment claiming that it's not Kate and William, they're causing unnecessary confusion and they're not even doing their job as reporters. They're not investigating a story. They're not verifying the facts. They're just talking crap and opinions without any substance. I don't know why people aren't more outraged by this. Here we have this sort of growing controversy and all this dirt that's coming up, all this sludge that's coming out. Whether it's true or not remains to be seen. What I find fascinating about all of this and strange is this is the royal golden couple. Everybody was in love with William and Kate just as they were in love with Charles and Diana. And now all of a sudden, people can't seem to refrain from slagging them off and like dragging them through the mud, which is part and parcel for what's going on in the world stage right now. This has to happen. All of the, the dirt has to rise to the surface so it can be washed away. All of the, the toxicity of the patriarchal structure has to be revealed. All of the people who are talking about this stuff range from influencers to mainstream media to common people, but a lot of it is also coming from bots. So this is a deliberate campaign to put out false information and conspiracy theories. But why? Like, why around the royal family? This is just like 2020. It's a massive psychological operation. I'm going to continue to keep watching what happens as this unfolds. It's certainly a good show. And if you want more on this, watch the full video on my website. It's free to site members and contributing members. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye for now.